So this is what it looks like when it's done right. And if you can see how firm this is and how compacted it is, this is compactable fill. So we're on the Fegley project. We are in the middle of, uh, we did the demolition, and now we're setting up forms, looking, inspecting trenches, and we're gonna get to see the outline of the new addition. We're gonna go check out the, uh, the concrete situation here. Okay. And I'd like you to give me a little assessment of what you're seeing. Uh, I know you had a question that we needed to go over, and maybe we'll have to involve the engineer. Come on up here, Tony. Oh, wow. We've got our outline. Now everybody can see how big this is, actually. It's a lot bigger than I thought. And you can see some of the waterproofing that we're going to have to do whenever, if it rains again under this project, we have to protect all of that so it doesn't get in the house. But this, what we see here on the edge, and I'll go ahead and walk in there. And Justin, you're over here. Why don't you show this right here? So all of this has to be exposed. You can see where they've put a nail here to, to establish grades. We want all of this to tie in perfectly whenever we, were, we remove the walls. In any area where we remove the wall, the concrete's got to be finished perfectly flush with that. So where it comes in and this becomes an opening, it's got to be perfect there. So that's why we've exposed all this. What it does necessitate is us putting in waterproofing for when it rains. So we'll tuck it in below here to get it underneath here and we'll get that protected from the rain. So it looks like they're putting in some dirt fill in here. No, they're just excavating for the uh, great beams. Okay, good. So what they're, they're doing is they're excavating and sticking it in the middle and they'll move it out of there. Okay, I don't understand why they're not throwing it out. They need to be throwing it out. I don't want to see this mixed in with the uh, with the uh, the new fill they're bringing in. And if you're not right on top of it, it could be mixed in there and we don't want that. But that dirt is expansive and it has moisture in it and it's going to change its density. Hi, Chad. Thank you. We're just doing a little video here of what's going on with the foundation. I was just reminding Anthony to get this, this soil out of here. Yeah, the, a little bit of the stone can stay. That's not a problem. But the, but the stuff that's black and, and gray, all that has to come out, and then we fill it in. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to go within four inches of this, of this line, which is the top of slab, and it'll be all compactable fill crushed limestone is what we're going to have in there. So let's look at those those stones. Where are we, where are we encountering the, that's the embedded uh, rock strata. All right, so what we see right here, can you get in on that? I can. Yeah, all of this is, is, is rock strata. It's not embedded stones. So this is a situation that we encounter in San Antonio quite frequently, where you get areas where you can dig down deep, like we see down here. Can you go on down, Justin, right on down there? You can see how we were able to excavate full depth for the beams that are required. Uh, the, the engineers will require us to be six inches in uh, a foot embedment minimum. But in cases like this, this is an exception where the stone, this is in, it's, a, it's a rock strata, it's not loose stones. And what we all can go ahead and do is tie rebar into this you can drill into it and attach the beams. Whatever whatever uh, top cords are in that beam can be attached, and this will suffice for structural support. So we're good on this. Now that we can actually see that it's not embedded stones that need to be dug up, we can actually tie into this. I'm comfortable with that. So this is what it looks like when it's done right, and if you can see how firm this is and how compacted it is. This is compactable fill. And it's non-expansive. Non-expansive means that if water goes in it, it doesn't change its shape. It does not grow. If dirt gets water in it, that's why we want all that dirt removed. If dirt gets, or soil gets, gets water in it, it expands and contracts. That's why houses move if they're sitting on, on clay soils. But when you build on this, any moisture in here is not gonna hurt it. So there's moisture in the concrete that'll get in here a little bit until it dries. But it's not going to change the concrete and we're not gonna get fine structural, um, non-structural cracks in it. So this is how it's done correctly. You keep a nice even line for your beams, you bag it, you compact it. This is beautiful. So they called me out to the job and it was just coincidental we could show the video, but they did want to talk about that, that rock strata that was in there. So we want to 
we wanted to make sure of that and we are going to go ahead and drill into it and that will meet meet the structural engineers requirements and we're good to go we'll start putting in steel real soon and then we'll show that next week mm -hmm.